Good to go, and I need to go to the washroom, so I'll be back in a few. Okay. Uh, so we're recording, and uh, Talia snapped out of it. I believe she has to snap out of it. Let me double check that. Uh, character is panic grips, must flee, yada, 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 if prevented. Character, once away from the danger, must successfully snap out of it to regain control. Okay, so she should have had a snap out of it. She didn't snap out of it last time. The intelligence role is therefore nullified, and she's going to run right out into line of sight of the bad guys. Uh, Shelby, however, you will have the presence of mind to roll an awareness roll. Okay, you definitely see them. Are you going, um, if you want to stop Talia, you'll have to get a strength roll or use a psychic power to pull her away from running down the stairs. Okay, using a fate point. That leaves you with one fate point remaining. Okay, bravo. Uh, Shelby will be able to grab Talia and pull her back before she's in line of fire. Uh, however, uh, as a free action, the traitor elite right in front of you, Turin, says, they're behind us and is pointing, and his men will turn around on their turn. So Ariane will come up here. She'll hide behind the cover with Shelby and Talia. And Olgris uh, will get to his feet and look at Klaus and say, uh, Oh, he's actually going to say, Klaus, now uh, we, we're just about to, and he'll look down at the mangled remains of the traitor elite and willpower for Bulgris. He's going to make the attempt. Uh, so range, send to front, and he's going to attempt to grapple you, Vern. Okay. Oh! So you get to do a uh, agility roll, I think, to... Oh, well, you could do a parry or dodge to try and prevent him from wrapping his meaty hands on you. I think I have better chance by trying to dodge. I'm just thinking that I might have. 54 is your DC to dodge. Yeah. Um, yeah. Definitely better. <laughs> oh. All right. So, um. Well, he just grappled me. Yep. Yeah. Combat grappled. Combat grappled. All right. Basically, he walks onto both of your shoulders with his hands and holds them tight. Krios. Um, right. Now shooting into this combat would be difficult, wouldn't it? You are at point blank range, so you do have a bonus there. However, there is a negative 20 because he is basically pulled during close. And uh, if you miss within that 20 bracket, you hit burn. God fucking damn it. How serious a grip does he seem to have of a burn? He, well, at first he grabbed his shoulders, pulled him in close, and you know what? I'm going to say he's managed to activate Vern because he got a natural one. He activated Vern's magnetic uh, armor and has managed to 
use Vern's own armor to grip lock himself on Vern. This is a real pain. Um, this is a real Remember pain. what I said, if you take too long to think of what you're doing, it ends no, up being I, 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 I know what I'm doing, it's just it's a fucking pain. Yeah, so what are you doing? Declare what you do before you roll. No, I'm, I'm manipulating him to the face for a third fucking time. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay, basically, um, the magnetic field disrupts your mechadendrite, so it doesn't quite hit where you were planning it to, and it doesn't seem to hurt either Vern or Volgris. Uh, as this is happening, so Grace is like, no, no, we, we just need to leave, and then she'll look. And she'll see Klaus. Now it's not her turn. Actually, I'm not going to roll for willpower just yet. Uh, Vern, you're being hugged. Do you want to fight the grapple or just give in? I will try to shake him off. Okay. So oppose strength tests. Oh, you, you both suck. The, the magnets are doing most of the work. Awesome. Alexandra. Well, I would think I have a, at least an upper hand here. I sucked less. Yes, you sucked less, but neither of you succeeded. Yep. So no change to the present situation. I would also uh, just yell to Creoles, go. Uh, Alexandra's just gonna maintain what she's been doing, cause she's still wait. She's still gotta wait for Haley. She's still gotta wait for Krias. She still gotta wait for Vern to get start get going. Okay, so she's doing Overwatch basically. Yeah. Okay, Kieran. As I said, you can stand as a free action, or you're gonna stay lying down on the stairs. I am. I don't know. Um, I'm going to stand up and and draw a weapon, but which one I don't know. Well, your wrist gauntlets are always pretty much at the ready, so. Yeah, I would do the wrist gauntlets. And ready in action to attack them if they go up the stairs. Okay, so if they advance, you're going to stab at whoever comes closest. Correct. Okay, well, guess what? Mr. Trader Elite attempts to walk right through you because he still isn't aware of you. Well, surprise! Surprise! Nice. He can't dodge. He's unaware of you, so... Um, now, do you get to declare anywhere you want to hit? You do. Well, where does a 22 hit or a 22 hit? Just, just, oh, you only have sure strike. Okay, you yep. haven't got the other one yet. Okay, oh. so I'm going to say this could even count as uh, being an aimed shot and called shot. So uh, did you want to declare where you were going to attack him or not? I'm assuming I'm. I have like the upper hand. I could like hit him in the head because I'm above him, right? All right. Without... So you're going for his face. Yes. Okay. Uh, so you are going to get a bonus uh, to your penetration. That is one half your perception bonus. So three to your penetration because you have the eye for weakness talent. And um, go ahead and roll the. Uh, Damage just, for the wrist blade is 1d5, but you roll 1d10 instead because. One d10 plus four. Oh. Well, that would have been an epic time to have some righteous fury. And uh, technically, let me see here. 
Sam. Okay. Uh, he's going to be aware of you right at the last moment, so you're not going to get the helpless target damage bonus. Uh, but let's see here with... It's six. Uh, I'm just checking the penetration and his toughness. All right. So, yeah, your energy blade slices into his face, uh, oh, and he doesn't even flinch. It goes, it cuts through his armor like butter, cuts through his face like air, and he doesn't even flinch. Um, VT, I, uh, if I was using um, the power field, which I don't know, I, I don't think she would have used it in that situation, but then it would have been plus seven instead of plus four. That is up to you, though. You can activate it instantaneously, so... Oh, well, then she would have stabbed his face with the power field. Well, it wouldn't be activated while she's sneaking around, because it's kind of obvious when there's a crackling blade of energy just sort of floating around. He has a... Or it has a point. Right. So, yeah, blade pops out, tries to slice into the face uh, with the a little bit of additional damage. That's another three damage. Uh, still, you slice into his face, and he doesn't even flinch. Well, crap. Well, we already saw how tough these motherfuckers were in the past couple of encounters. That's Henry true. made short work of one of them. That happened to be Izzy's, but... Uh, the soldiers who are at the sandbags, let's see if they're smirt. Shoot your, shoot your boss. Do it, I dare you. They Dang. crawl over the sandbags and take position on the other side. All of them or just those three? Just those three, because the other ones are down below at the moment. Ah. Okay, and so Haley. <sighs> Why aren't you moving? Uh, Do you have hit and run? Or sorry, running gun or whatever the hell is hip shooting. Do you have hip shooting? Checking now. No. That's something you might want to look into. In the future, yes, if I live. <laughs> Anyway, so you uh, moved. yeah, I'll move there, Good. and then I'll take an aim action. Okay, um, just a sec here. It was yeah, you, you moved a little further than oh, you were supposed to. Sorry. Okay, uh, so Shelby. And again, I forgot to do Talia's snapping out of it, didn't I? I think that'll do the trick. Okay. So on her next turn, she's going to be cognizant. Yes, I thought you could uh, talk over void. He can tell you about that. Um, she's just going to use her power to or her turn to draw her um, inferno pistol, or not draw her inferno pistol. Uh, no, she will wait on. Yeah, she'll just draw her inferno pistol for now. Okay, so holding cover. I can't talk. I realize I can't talk to Talia and draw my pistol the same turn. Um, Well, I'll say that um, if you want to say something right now, I'm just going to chew into a little bit of your action on next turn if you want to say something quickly. All right. Um, I hear enemies ahead. Um, Prepare yourself. Okay. Uh, did I roll Grace's willpower? What did I? What did I get for that? 
I don't know if you did this last turn. I don't know if she's had. Going, right, I was about to, but I stopped because it wasn't her turn yet. Okay. Let's see how she reacts to. Cl- wow. <laughs> Wow, um, Grace is going to just ignore the great big ugly. She's going to look at it and look right back to Bulgris and say, "Let go of him. We, we can leave now." Before and before she can fully articulate, Klaus will speak up, saying, "Oh no, 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 Joy! Don't you worry. Bulgris is one of ours." And he's going to continue to approach, kind of oozing his way up the stairs. Talia will ready a weapon and peek around the corner. Okay, I think I think I saw something. Uh, crap, we need we need Vern and and Krios. They they are, are Shelby. You could do it. I'm sure you've got the the power. Uh, Ariane, uh, she's kind of holding her bandaged up head wound and says, I'm not going to be a hell of a lot of help. I don't even think I can see straight. Bulgris will look to Grace, still holding Vern and say, yes, I said, wait, Joy. Wait, did you just say her name as Joy? Her name's Grace. Klaus will... uh, (laughs) Yes, Joy is her middle name. And uh, free scrutiny for Vern and Krios. Uh... Uh, actually, Krios, you will see just before Bulgris turns to look back at Grace, his half-twisted face actually lights up with joy. Krios, it's your turn. So, Klaus said that Stair's name, middle name is Joy, and then it was like, ooh, that's a good thing. Yeah, suddenly, all of a sudden, it's like during the entire encounter, he looked bored and morose. Then when he realized Grace was here, he looked a little worried. And now all of a sudden, Klaus says her middle name is Joy, and he looks happy. Well, in the immortal words of Elwood Blues, fuck this noise, man. I'm sprinting away. Uh, okay, I'm going to try and sprint. You okay? You'll have to roll toughness to do a successful sprint. Yes, I assumed I would. <laughs> yes, you can move twenty-four meters. Um, can I say something to them before I run? Absolutely. Grace, leave him. He's dead. <laughs> Wait a second. I thought uh, face. Fuck. That was only eighteen. You can re- <laughs> okay. eighteen. Six more. You just right? leave. Yeah, you just left Fern alone, being hugged by a Nurgle trader. Fern said, "Go." I hate uh, to be that guy, but it's I don't think the losses. I don't think it's possible for me to just shove my shotgun at both grass and just pull the trigger. Uh, basically, he's got his arms around your arms right now, so your shotgun is pointing at your foot, basically. Yeah, yeah, I, I figured as much. So, I'll just try to wriggle out. Move! Okay. If you roll better, I will scream. Okay. Okay, so Bulgris got uh, one degree of success, whereas you got a few. Uh, You now own the grapple. So as a free action, you can end it right now, or you can retain control of the grapple if you want to do something to him on your next turn. Um, I uh, I will maintain the grapple for now. 
Okay. And also, I will... Uh, I'm not commanding or anything, but saying to Grace, leave now. Okay. Alexandra. <sighs> Still waiting for these people. <laughs> Come on, okay, guys. Still doing Overwatch? Yep. Okay. Fear in the book. As a disclaimer, we never told you to wait for us. <laughs> I'm happy to act on her military She's training. A soldier. No, no one's left behind. Except Vern. This is. <laughs> but then again, Vern has been yelling every turn go, leave, go. Creo's husband for a while as well. Well, I I gotta attack him because I don't think I can get down the stairs, or it's going to be difficult to get down the stairs. Correct? You could do an acrobatics and kind of jump over him. Something to I bear in mind here: song. you are standing above him on a staircase. <gasps> okay, I just had a crazy idea. Can I jump up and try to impale him at like the top of his head? You can certainly make that attempt. So what would I need to do in order to do that? Um, it's, I'm just going to say, unless you're trying to do something particular, just doing a cold shot to the head is just a cold shot to the head. Is there a reason you're trying to jump up? No, not necessarily. Well, you already have a height advantage on him, so you can still bring your blade down on top of his head without needing to jump. Sweet. But before you roll, tell me what type of attack you're doing. Oh, yeah. I forgot about oh, that. Um, and I don't have that list. Okay. Uh, oh, right. Well, go ahead. I was going to say, give me an answer sooner. I'm going to say you're using your turn as a full aim. I don't have the list of things that I can do anymore. It disappeared when I switched computers. Oh, wait. wait. I lied. Hold on a second. At the, at the very least, you can tell me what your intent is, and I can tell you what your options are. I'm going to take an all-out attack to his You're aware head. that means all-out attack means you cannot dodge. Yes. Or parry. Okay? Yes. I am aware. I think that is the best option. Not at all. It's actually one of the worst options. Oh, right. I've got like eight guys. Okay, I'm just going to just attack. Well, go, go here. But what is your intent? What are you trying to do? Are you trying to do maximum damage to him? Are you trying to disarm him? Tell me what your intent is, and I'll tell you what your best option is. I want to do as much damage as possible. And you want to do a dual strike where you use both weapons simultaneously. Dual strike. I'm still going to call a shot to the head. Yeah. 100. Okay, he's now aware of you, even though you are pretty much. Uh, Mostly invisible. He's going to attempt to parry with his weapon, which happens to be a hell gun. Just like Izzy's character tried to. Um, that will... Oh, wait. I'm looking at the wrong stats. Okay, that is going to succeed. Roll 1d100, 75 or less, and you destroy his hell gun. Please, 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 please. <laughs> Interesting. Not confirmed, though. So, Take yeah, you, you will slice his hell gun in half, and it won't explode or anything. It will power down. And he's now got his hell gun. One half has the barrel. The other half has the trigger and the cable running to his backpack. It is now his turn. He will look at this, drop both halves, 
draw his sword and take a quick attack at you with his sword. Okay, do you want to parry? Sure. I'm assuming okay. I have the same chance to destroy his blade for parry. Exactly, yep. Because then that might be a problem for him. But I'm not sure that succeeds. No, that your, your DC is your weapon skill, so that definitely succeeds. Oh, well then. And roll 75 to see if you destroy his sword as well. Yep. Okay, he's now been reduced to just his pistol, which is still in its holster. He's probably not too happy with me. Uh, his soldiers are using their turn to aim. And we are on to Haley's turn. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Fire! Ah! Oh, Vern screwed over. All right. So you had a half aim last turn. Yep. I'll just take that and do another dual blam. Oh, uh, into Klaus? Hmm? Yeah. Into Klaus? Okay. Blam. Blam. Okay, and... Close is definitely not dodging that. Uh, does he have legs or he just kind of scoot around on the whatever those are? <sighs> you think there are some legs in there. Um, if there are legs, they're impossibly tiny. Okay, going for the eyes again. <laughs> dush, dush. And if I can move, I'll take another four steps back. Okay, so no Righteous Fury. Yeah, no, uh, you will not be able to move because it's a full action to do the dual shot. So Boosh Boosh is going to be team. Okay. Uh, he's going to uh, look to Haley and say, that's getting annoying. And then he's going to smile and laugh. I should have gotten full auto. <laughs> it's too far away, though. All right, now I've got to subtract your ammo, uh, Healy. And on to Shelby's turn. Jess? I was muted. Oh, okay. So um, she knows they're on the next level down, right? Two levels down. Okay, so she's going to go down with her weapons drawn and shield out. So, uh, you're going to move, uh, what, a run speed, a full move, or what? She's going to move, um, just enough to get down there so she can get line of sight on the stairwell. Into a good okay. position. Okay, and uh, I'm just going to draw some lines in this room so you'll be able to see. Um, basically, there's going to be a mezzanine, I think is the word. So, Platform? Like a balcony? Uh, well, yeah, some high ground that can be up there, and then the rest of. Oops. So this is at the same height as the top of the stairs, whereas this is at the same height as the midpoint of the stairs. And then it ducks down here, basically. So wait, could she see down if she's over here? Uh, yes, and she could also have partial cover. That's what she'll do. Okay. So Shelby's moved to a semi-covered position. Uh, mm -hmm. Basically, her legs and lower torso are protected from any retaliatory fire. And she has her shield out, as usual. 
Okay, uh, Grace's turn. She's like, uh, yeah, my, my middle name is Gra- uh, Joy. Uh, what, what does it matter? <laughs> I, I don't... What is that? What is going on? <laughs> Klaus will... <laughs> oh, Joy, Grace... Your lovely, lovely man has been chosen, and he is like us. And he'll point to Vern as he says that. Talia does not have line of sight on Klaus yet. Um, She sees where uh, Shelby went, and she'll say to Shelby, be careful. And she's going to take another look down the stairs. <laughs> Tally is, is she, she's distracted by the big <laughs> voice coming from the room next to her. Anne is pretty much buddy buddy with Talia right now, keeping her safe. Fulgress still has Vern's hand. Um, and Fulgress will say, uh, this, is, this is exactly what she told me. She said, I, I'd, I'd understand once I found joy in my new life. I, I didn't realize your name was Joy. Oh, my. Uh, Nurgle, praise Nurgle, he shouts. Krios. Mm. Oh God, damn it, Haley! Is is, is Klaus tall enough that I can shoot over Haley? Yes. Oh yes, Klaus is big. Well, ain't that a thing? I shoot him. Okay, so I assume an aim and a shot. Oh uh, yes. Yeah. Be sure to say with, you know exactly what you're doing. Um. So with his size and its range and with aiming, uh, your bonus is uh, ballistics plus that plus that. Uh, said it was accurate, so get 78 total minus 32 is... You're potentially going to get full damage if, yeah, not dodging. So 8d10 plus 10. <laughs> Let's see if it actually hurts him at all. Oh, right. Um, well, it's not holy, it's blessed. So at this point, it's it's not changing too much. So 80, 10 plus 10. Yeah. Uh, only one divine. So we'll see if you get righteous. Uh, don't think so. Uh, um, you actually, that, that does confirm righteous because I forgot it is a blessed weapon. So an 82 confirms righteous. <laughs> Go on, show that 10. No. So 75. Yes, I noticed that, but uh, the emperor protects. If he'd got a six for his emperor's righteous fury, uh, I might have changed my mind, but uh, yeah. The, at, the risk of, um, at the risk of tempting fate. Screw the emperor, my bad guy. What you have done for me? The other 10 is his uh, actual specified 10. So... Um, what I say again? Seventy-five. Uh, it was sixty-six plus nine, seventy-five. Uh, yeah, you're zot on him. It 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 seems to blow a chunk of him away. Uh, it just sort of explodes into a mass of green spore cloud that rises up. And he sounds rather irritated with what you just did, Creops. Um, and we'll say that's a mean gun you have there and 
point at it uh, rather irksomely uh, with his, his sort of, well, his face is already disgusting, but it contorts into an even more ugly feature of not rage, but discontent. I'm so tempted to, to like quip, but it's not, it's not that kind of story. <laughs> <sighs> All righty. Uh, Vern, Frosty, are you back? Shit. Not back yet. Um, I'll be right back. I got to put something in the dishwasher and run it. Yeah, I, so, uh, I'm going to say let's, let's give a, a three-minute break, people. Joe, you can uh, pause the recording. 